Next, it's a wicked weekend inside Walt Disney when Walt Disney presents The Mystery of Dracula's Castle, Part 1, followed by Part 2, right here on Disney. And now, let's join Erin Chambers' Wicked Weekend at the Haunted Mansion. So, what kind of face are you going to have on your pumpkin? My alter eagle, of course, a bat. What about you, Erin? Mm, I don't know. I can't decide. Will mine do? <laughs> Zach! Zach! We'll be back with more of our Wicked Weekend, I hope. Wicked Weekend on Disney! <laughs> Journey inside Walt Disney and rediscover the magic that is Walt Disney history. Walt Disney! It's where the Disney shows from yesterday are back again today, and the Musketeers you know by name sing the songs you know by heart. It's a loving look at Disney shows, specials, and movies. You are persistent, aren't you? And gaze upon your favorite stars who went on to shine so brightly. Journey inside Walt Disney, coming up next on Disney. <laughs> no bones about it, we'd like to wish everyone a happy Halloween from all of us inside Vault Disney. world of Disney. A gentleman by your looks. Not that it matters, mind you. <laughs> Rich men, pauper. You're all the same price to me. Hmm. But I just might help myself to that cape of yours. <laughs> you won't be needing it where you're going. Yeah, huh? How'd you do that there, Leonard? Like, like this? Huh? <laughs> it's a wonder you even saw the movie. 
I, I had something in my eye. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Wasn't even a scary movie. I could have nah. done better than that. Yeah, Dracula wasn't vicious enough. There should have been more blood. Yeah, in my Dracula movie, there's going to be plenty of blood. Yeah. Just like in a Frankenstein, you know? Yeah, now that was good and gory. I right. didn't like it. Made a great hunchback, Igor. <laughs> I'm not going to be one of your dumb movies ever again. So who's asking you? Who are you going to get for Dracula? I don't know. You would have been great. I know. Well, if you didn't have to go to the beach again this summer... Well, you're the one who's always going off to your scout camp. So who's leaving who? Well, what do you expect? There's nothing to do around here when you're gone. Well, my mom said that you could go. Hey! But your mom said that, well, that we'd get back home too late. Yeah, I know. I wish you could go. Hey, you guys, come here! What is it? The glass has been cut. Wow. Come on down here, huh? Yeah, you too, fella. Let's go. Okay, what do you know about this, huh? Nothing. Did you see anybody? No, we just got here. Yeah, what's that mean? We were over there at the movie at the Capitol. Uh-huh. What about you? You kidding? I'm upstairs trying to get some sleep. I work nights. You two guys go on through there and check out the front. I'll call Mr. Fleck, the owner. Somebody knock off that alarm when you get in there, will you? I'll get that, sir. OK, let's go, boys. Move out of the way now. Move back. Here we go. Riley, keep that door open. OK, Riley, let's dust this thing for prints. Get anything? No, uh, no prints. A couple of fibers here. You got the tweezers? Wow. That's what I'm going to do when I grow up. <laughs> Didn't leave much. Right, here we go. Hi, uh, Mr. Fleck. I own this store. What's happening? Well, sir, it looks like a robbery. Go right in, sir. That's what I was afraid of. They're gone. The Dormier jewels are gone. Did you lock the door? Yeah, I did. OK, got everything? Yep. Excuse me, Morgan. Do we really need these? They're props for our movie. Well, isn't this a bit realistic? You bet. Come on. There you go. All set? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, Morgan. Well, I guess I'll see you in September, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Have a nice summer, Morgan. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye. I guess I'll have to find somebody up there to play Dracula. Yeah, I, I guess so. See you later, Morgan. Bye, Morgan. Bye-bye.
place hasn't changed a bit. No, Leonard, honey, help me with the groceries first. Oh, okay. Now, are these too heavy for you? Uh, it's all right. We'll take care of the bikes later. Oh, gee, it's great to be back. Yeah. So quiet. Yeah, quiet. I know I'm not going to be much fun for you with the deadline of the book coming up. There's plenty to do, though. Maybe you could help Alfie with his film. No, thanks. I'm a detective. But what can I detect when this place is so dead? You know, Sherlock Holmes was the greatest detective of them all. And some of his most exciting cases were on the moors. I don't know of a deader place than that. What are the moors? Mm, kind of like our beach. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Hey, get out of here. Go open up the window. We need some fresh air. Hey, Alfie, come here, look. The glass is out of the window. And look, the screen's torn. Somebody's been trying to get in. You mean somebody's been trying to get out? The screen's pushed out, not in. You make a lousy detective. Well, I'm just learning. Even Sherlock Holmes had to learn. I don't know where I'm going to find anybody in this town to play Dracula. I might even have to make you an actor again, Leonard. Me? I'm not Dracula. Well, with the right makeup, it might work. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, you? Why not? Well, first of all, you don't have a Watson. And second, you can't go around investigating with your hands over your eyes. I don't. You know, Dracula is the greatest man on Earth. Anybody with guts would jump at the chance to play Dracula. Not me. What's all this junk? I don't know. Well, maybe it's a rat's nest. Look at this hair I found in the window, too. Big deal. That's why it's the screen's busted. A rat lives here. It would make a great shot. Close up. Man eating rat. Two rodent teeth. Dripping with blood. Paul Bear. He must be big, huh? Yeah. We see thousands of them. Squeaking and gnawing. Crawling all over oh, each other. Quit talking like that. This is my bed and I gotta sleep in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. stuff on my bed. Huh. He's been living here for a long time. Looks like he's gonna stay, too. Kind of squatter's rights. <laughs> Could we really keep him? Oh, sure, as long as he wants to keep us. Walt Disney Presents will be right back. 
tonight on Magical World of Disney, it's Halloween Town. Marty Cromwell's family can't be normal. Why? Because her grandmother's a witch. Totally. And she lives in Halloween Town, where it's Halloween all the time. Halloween is cool. Well, battling an evil shadow creature is just not normal. Oh, being normal is vastly overrated. Find out more about Marty Cromwell's family's strange powers. Powers? What powers? It's the Disney Channel original movie, Halloween Town. Tonight at 7.30, 6.30 Central, followed by Hocus Pocus on Magical World of Disney. Welcome everyone, I'm Rafi, and thanks for joining me as we begin the countdown to the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards. Right now we're busy keeping up with all the nominees. There have been a total of over 117,000 nominations, which have arrived by email and by phone. On the busiest days, there were as many as 3,000 phone calls. That is one huge phone bill. Of the nominations we received, three out of four came from kids like you, nominating their favorite teacher. They've arrived from all 50 states. Washington, Arkansas, Minnesota, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, Colorado, Texas, California, Connecticut, Delaware. You still with me? Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan. Once we Minnesota, sorted through the nominations, 75,000 teachers received congratulatory Montana, letters and nearly 12,000 teachers applied. Nevada, From that, 39 Virginia, teachers were selected to be Mexico, honored in this year's American York, Teacher Awards Carolina, because of the creativity and excitement they bring to their classrooms. <laughs> and that's a look at the nomination process. Be sure to check out all the honorees at the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards, which airs on November 15th. And join me next time when we go behind the scenes to meet a real kid who recommended his teacher. So long. We now return to Walt Disney Presents Inside Walt Disney. Okay, you ready? Action! Okay, now Dracula enters. A lot of movement in the cave now. Good. Now move behind the trash can. Okay, run towards the other trash can. Good. Good cape work. Okay, now stay behind that one and hit. Okay, now move forward. Cover your face. Good. Okay, you're looking for your victim now. You're looking. Look. Blast! Cut! Leonard, you and that dumb dog. That's the third take he's ruined already. That stray giving you trouble? Yeah. No, he isn't. He's a good dog. He is, huh? Good for nothing. That there's the thievingest mutt in this county. He thinks he owns a place. That's for sure. Wherever that dog goes, and that dog goes just about everywhere, there goes trouble. His name isn't Trouble. It's Watson. Well, you can call him anything you like, son. He's trouble to me. Come on, we better get this shot before the light goes. Ah, uh, now let me see now. Bill, can I see you a minute? Well, I was just closing up, but come in, come in. Yeah. What can I do for you? Yeah. You seen this, Bill? No. Should I have? Gets me why they send me this stuff. I mean, this would be the last place I'd look for a stolen necklace. Especially one that's worth uh, $100,000. Oh, that's a lot of money. No, 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 you keep it, Bill. I mean, you'd be the most likely person to see this Demurrier uh, necklace anyway. Those jewel thieves, they just don't trust us sheriffs nowadays. Okay, Dracula, put up the slate. Speed and action. Put the cape in front of your face. Okay, here's another close up. Hiss. Hiss. Hiss some more. Hiss. 
Shoo, go on, shoo. Watson, it's all right. You wasn't doing anything. Defacing my property? I mean, look at all that mud and guck. You can loiter someplace else, too. Well, we're not loitering. We're here to do business. Oh? What kind of business? Well, how much is that gold ring in there with the black in the middle? Thirty dollars. Well, how about running it to me? No. Well, you know, if you loan it to me, I can give you great credit in my Dracula film. Absolutely not. I just have to have that ring. Ask and you'll receive, is that it? Well, you better learn you've got to work hard for anything you want. Well, we are working hard. Give me this, give me that. You kids never grow up. Never learn responsibility. Watson! Do you hear? If I see him sneaking around Bill. one more time, Bill. just one more Bill, time, I'll prosecute. Bill, I'll prosecute. Bill, don't get close. Bill, don't get Bill, don't get close. Don't get close. Why do you call that dog Watts? It's better than trouble. Days ago, man. When the devil yeah. have you been? Thought I better keep on the cover for a while. Did you get it? <laughs> oh, uh, this is for you. All right, cut to games, Nora. Where is it? Great morning. 
line for our beach location. Perfect line. And remember, Leonard, if that doc spoils any shots, he goes home. Watch him leave, I leave. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You got enough junk to add about three cents. Yeah, well, when I knocked over Flex Jewelry Store to get that little beauty, I didn't know what I'd be up against. But with this new heist in San Francisco, I'm gonna know exactly what to take. Yeah, you take a lot of luck. That's what you take. There's no luck involved with this. This is pure brains. Pure what? I've spotted this safe that is the exact replica of the one I'm gonna hit in Frisco. Same make, everything. There's just no jewels inside, right? Are you gonna listen to me or not? Look, I bust this uh, replica and then I can open the real one easy. You're still breaking your back over an empty safe. Well, it's no different than you and those pains that you can't even give away. What's that supposed to mean? All right, all right, I don't care how you waste your time. Just get those jewels in a new setting so that we can sell them. I'm doing it. I just want a setting, I'll show them off, okay? All right, all right, just remember nothing fancy. Don't go thinking you're a real artist. And I'm gonna need some help when I get back. Those wall safes are heavy. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, that's good. Cut and print. Okay, good. Now, come on. Don't get wet. Get up on this rock here, then we'll straight cut from that rock back to this one. Okay. After we do this shot, we're gonna get your grave shot. We're gonna have to dig it really, really deep, you know? Well, anyway, let's get this shot first. Action. All right, jump off the rock. Okay, now do a run by. Good. Pat up to the cliff and... Dracula's castle. You mean the outer lighthouse? It's perfect. What did I think of it before? Man, come on! It's just great. Perfect. It's the best set I've ever seen in my whole life. Let's see what it looks like inside. Alfie, we better not. I should have known it. You're scared again. I'm not. Well, then come on. <laughs> Watson, come on. Hey, listen to this squeaky door. If I only had sound, I could use it. Come on, Watson. Boy, this place could sure give a guy the creeps. Wow, look at that shadow on the wall. Would make a great scene. Dracula climbing up the stairs. His looming shadow, moving at every step. Wow! This place is really me. Dynamite! Somebody is staying here, right, Watson? <laughs> Here, it's somebody's laboratory. Come on, Watson. Come on, Watson. You know, this place is a place where mad scientists... This is a place where mad scientists do their experiments. You know, Lost Woman, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Transplants. Come on, Alfie, let's get out of here. Man, this place is a riot. Look at all this stuff. Wait a minute. Wow, get this for blood. Hi, Alfie, come on, let's get out of here. I mean, look at all this stuff. I mean, it's just so neat, you know? I mean, really.
Are you the mad scientist? No. I'm Keith Rayner. And you're, uh... Let me see now. You're, uh... I'm Leonard, and this is my dog, Watson. I'm Alfie. Alfie, huh? You want to explain yourselves? Or do you want me to call the sheriff and let, uh, let you explain it to him? The sheriff? Well, what for? We haven't done anything. I think it's called breaking and entering, isn't it? Alfie. Well, wait a minute. We didn't know anybody lived up here. And besides, the door was open. Alfie, you just, you just walked right in here, son. Well, we weren't going to take anything. Why'd you come up here, then? We're making a film. A film? I mean, you're making a film up here? Yeah. See? Yeah. This is a really weird layout you got here. <laughs> it's my workshop. Looks like a torture chamber. <laughs> no, it's not that romantic. Uh, these, uh, these are tools of my trade. See, I, I, I paint. I, I'm a painter. What's the dynamite for? My dynamite. Downstairs on the table. Fireworks down there. It says dynamite. Oh, does it? Well, that's because it's uh, it's unlawful to have fireworks in this county. Did you know that? And it's marked that way uh, in case the sheriff should see it. You see, you understand that? Right? Wow, real fireworks! When are you gonna set them off? Uh, Labor Day, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, Labor Day. Can we help? We won't tell the sheriff. Hey, maybe I can fit a fireworks scene into my movie. Hmm. All right. Okay. That's a deal if uh, if you keep it a secret. We will. All right, that's a deal. Put it there. Yeah. Hey, this is hey, breaking hey, this hey, cast. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, you boys got to go on home now. You can't fool around here. If you want to shoot fireworks with me, you go home right now. Okay. Location said ever. But you know what I'm going to do before we leave here? What? I'm going to get a title shot. But the man said that. Now, it is not polite to repeat what other people have said. Right? Right. Okay, now get up there in the basic Dracula position. Right. Just stand at the top of the stairs next to the lantern. Want my teeth? Yeah, sure. Put them in. Gonna make a great main title shot. Okay, rolling and action. Good. And look over at the ocean. Elfie, hi, hi, quick! Come here, get in here, Dot. Can you lift that thing? Give me a hand with this, will you? Watch, let him go. Here. Yeah. Easy, easy, man. Oh, there goes the keys. Come on in, we'll get them later. All right, you got it? Hey, 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 the dog got the keys. Hey! You what? Come back here! What are you kids doing here? I'm making a, a, a film. Making a film? Hey, that's mine. Give me the camera. Go play with your safe. Uh... Walt Disney Presents will be right back. 
ride on Magical World of Disney. Come! We fly! For the Sanderson sisters, Halloween is no ordinary girls' night out. Bobble, bobble. And after 300 years in the grave, they're gonna have one busy night. You must brew the potion and suck the lies out of the children of Salem before sunrise. Otherwise, it's curtains. A real busy night. I have put a spell on you. Hocus Pocus, tonight at 9, 15, 8, 15 Central, part of Wicked Weekend. Are you boys a little old to be trick-or-treating? Here's something you ought to know. Every morning inside Walt Disney. You're no fool, no siree. Of course you're not a fool, because you know the Ink and Paint Club is the one place to find all your favorite Disney animated classics. Oh, boy! Like characters with a musical touch and a Midas touch. Handy pigs and acrobatic mice. Even crickets as smart as your biology teacher. They're the smallest bones in your body. So don't be a fool. I'm no fool. Watch the Ink and Paint Club every morning at 5 a.m. 4 Central inside Walt Disney. It sees. Oh, wow. It lives. What did you touch? I didn't touch anything. It's so weird. Look at this. Next Friday on Disney. What's going on? A machine with a mind takes hold of Fee's thoughts. Where are you from? Can Fee solve its puzzle? That's it. The locations are almost identical. If it really reads your thoughts, maybe it'll find you. Before it's too late. No! An all new So Weird. Next Friday at 7, 6 Central. Inside Zoo Disney. Ever run out of stuff to do on your vacation? Does boredom get you down? Well, on your next vacation, try these ideas from Milo and Otis to kick the blues. You can learn to fish, try a new water sport, or take an afternoon swim, take up gardening, or how about taking a swing at bird watching? For more of Milo and Otis's vacation tips, don't miss The Adventures of Milo and Otis, Monday at 7, 6 Central, followed by rent a kid on Magical World of Disney. We now return to Walt Disney Presents Inside Walt Disney. Come on, shut the door, boys. Keith Rayner, and I'm the guy who lives in the lighthouse down by the beach. Is there anything wrong? No. Well, yeah, kind of. Uh, this isn't exactly a social call. Well, why don't you come in and we'll talk? Okay. Thank you. I won't found you. Won't you sit your... down? Mm. Now, what's this all about? Well, I found your boys uh, making a film or a movie or something down by the lighthouse. Uh, there have been some rock slides down there recently. It's not safe down there. As a matter of fact, right adjacent to, to where I live, there's a 250-foot sheer cliff straight down to the, uh, the surf. Well, all you have to do is tell Alfie to stay away, and he'll stay away. No, I, I tried that, uh, Mrs. Booth. Uh, that, that didn't work. Uh, I know it's none of my business, and I, I just met you, but... Maybe the boys need more supervision. Maybe. Uh, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, thank you for your concern, Mr. Rayner. I'll make sure they won't bother you again. All right. Thank you. Boys. Hmm? You still like the fireworks? Oh, oh yeah. I, uh, I promised the boys that they could shoot some fireworks with me sometime this summer, if that's, that's all right with you. Maybe later. Okay, before you leave. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, I know I depend on you guys a lot. If you can't take care of yourselves, I'm going to have to get somebody who will. What does that mean? Alfie, you brought this on yourself. Anyway, a playmate will be good for you. Playmate? You mean babysitter, right? Right. Oh, no. There it 
is 203. Mom? Yeah? Are you sure about this? Yes, Alfie, I'm sure. Come on. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Hi. I'm Mrs. Booth. These are my boys. Oh, yeah, we've met. Oh. We're looking for Jean Windham. We in the right place? You're here. Jeannie! You looking for dog walker, piano teacher, mother's helper, or surfboard sander? <laughs> mother's helper. Yeah, Dad? Got some business for you. Hi. Hi. This is Alfie and Leonard. Hi. Hi. And you know trouble. Watson. Huh? Never mind. Jean, I'm doing a lot of writing this summer, and I just don't have time to spend with the boys that I want to. Could you go with them, kind of be with them as a friend? Oh, sure, that'd be great. Hey, Alfie, aren't you the filmmaker my dad was telling me about? Yeah, I'm making a film. Well, uh, I always wanted to be in the movies. Uh, you think you got a part for me? Well, what experiences have you had? Oh, lots. I mean, I was Desdemona and Othello, and I had the lead in a date for Ruthie. Sounds pretty good. I guess we'll try out. Okay, put up the sleigh. All right. Ready and action! All right, track your letters. Slowly towards the victim. Dracula comes closer and closer. The victim stirred, rested. No, no good. Wait, cut, cut. Jean, I forgot something, you see. We're at the beach, and the victim shouldn't be wearing a robe. Well, I'll take it off, and we'll just use the bathing suit, OK? No, I tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to bet you. Well, you'd lose, because I'm the best explosives man on the West Coast. I can do this stuff blindfolded. You see, dum dum, the uh, explosion takes place on the inside, not on the outside. You just gotta stand there. Well, nothing's gonna happen. Of course, you can uh, cover your ears if you're afraid of a little noise. Leak, you know, and a gas been building up and up, and I lit the match, and but Lori, right north. Yeah, right. Why don't you go change your shirt and uh, get cleaned up? Yeah. And uh, you kids run along home now, okay? A stove blow up. I mean, that would make a great scene. I only had my camera ready. Yeah, well, we'll try to time it better next time, okay? Well, can't we help you clean up or something? No, it's not too bad. Uh, you kids run along home now. Well, yeah, well, well, uh, all right. Oh, no. Golly! Come on. All blowing up. Would have been a great scene for my film. It's been a pretty good day, shot two rolls. Good. Our little Fen Watson didn't interrupt one shot. Hey, that's right. You're just curious. That's all. Aren't you Watson? Watson? Watson! Oh, no. That dog. Don't worry, I'll go back No, you don't. Out. We're already late for supper, and I'm gonna get it as it is in any way. If we went back, it would be to get my beach stuff we left on the rock. Are you hungry? 
Okay. Hey, look, I'll go down and get you something to eat. I'll get you a cookie. The dog's upstairs. The little dog? You left that door open back there. We'll search him and throw him out. Nothing but a thief. Walt Disney takes a bite out of this wicked weekend when Walt Disney presents the mystery in Dracula's castle. Then escape to which mountain on Disney? 
tonight on Magical World of Disney. It's Halloween Town. Marty Cromwell's family can't be normal. Why? Because her grandmother's a witch. Totally. And she lives in Halloween Town, where it's Halloween all the time. Halloween is cool. Well, battling an evil shadow creature is just not normal. Oh, big normal is vastly overrated. Find out more about Marty Cromwell's family's strange powers. Powers? What powers? It's the Disney Channel original movie, Halloween Town, tonight at 7.30, 6.30 Central, followed by Hocus Pocus on Magical World of Disney. This special night for tricks is neat. When ghoulies shake and shimmy, we wish you all a happy Halloween from the gang inside Walt Disney. Wonderful world of Disney. In part one of our story, Mrs. Booth and her sons headed for the beach and a summer that would give two imaginative boys lots of time to themselves. I know I'm not going to be much fun for you with the deadline of the book coming up. Leonard Booth had dreams of becoming a super sleuth. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, you? But his brother, Alfred, the movie maker, had okay, different okay. plans in store. Action! Until a mangy hey, mutt ruined the scene. He's ruined already. He's a good dog. He is, huh? Good for nothing. That there's the thievingest mutt in this county. That's Watson. Well, you can call him anything you like, son. He's trouble to me. And trouble's exactly what our movie makers found one day while out filming. Patrick's the cliff and Dracula's castle. You mean the outer lighthouse? Perfect. And perfect it was for a pair of jewel thieves who used the place for a hideout. Oh, that's beautiful, baby. Little did they know, the lighthouse was also the backdrop for Alfred's movie. Hey, listen to this squeaky door. And a treasure trove of clues for young Sherlock Dynamite. and Watson. Somebody is staying here, right, Watson? The klepto canine later returned. You left that door open back there. The dog's upstairs. And swiped the key clue to the case. Nora, the dog's got the jewels! And now, as Watson returns with the jewels, we continue with part two of the mystery of Dracula's castle. Hi, Watson. Mom said, how'd you get this? Movies and gold. 
What's that? It's mine. Watson gave it to me. That might have been thieving again? No, he just found it. Somewhere. Yeah, in the junkyard. Now, uh it's real rubies and gold. She looks like glass to me. Dracula can wear it. That's dumb, because Dracula doesn't wear a necklace. Where's a ring? Why? Because it's part of the story, that's why. Well, that's what's left after the body's gone. Yeah. See, the stake is pounded in. Dracula turns to ashes. The wind stirs up and blows the ashes all around. All that's left is Dracula's ring. The end. He can wear a necklace, too. That's dumb, because he wears a ring. A ring like the one we saw at Mr. Wallace's jewelry store. Hey. You might not be a dummy after all. Maybe that necklace is worth something. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you two going? Just to Mr. Wallace's jewelry store. We'll be right back. 20 minutes. Okay. Come on. Come on. Store. Don't worry, Mr. Walter. We've got a rope on. Give him back. See, he's not harming anything. I've heard that before. Well, we're here on business. And I'd show him the necklace. We were wondering if you could tell us how much this is worth. May I, son? Reproduction. Reproduction? Well, look how it sparkles and shines. Sure looks real to me. No, it's only costume jewelry. Well, it must be worth something. I'll bet you it's worth at least as much as one of these Dracula rings over here. Uh, I don't know. They're pretty expensive. Well, think about it this way, Mr. Wazdo. You know, you can do lots of things with the necklace. You can just wear a dumb ring. <laughs> you got a point there. You really want this ring, don't you? Yes. Well, maybe I can do something. Okay, I'll trade. Don't tell anyone, though. Don't want people to think I've gone discount. Great, it's a deal. Better give them the necklace. No deal. You said all we were going to do is see if it's worth anything. And it is worth something. It's worth a Dracula ring. Now, Leonard, this is a great deal, you dummy. It's a lady's necklace, not for a real boy like you. Well, I like it. Leonard. Trade. Trade. What's happening, man? What's going on? Well, well he doesn't tell me what he's going to do with that for I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you two rings. One for each of you. Now, that's downright generous. No. Well, what's so special about this necklace, Leonard? I mean, what is it? It's rubies and gold. Oh, really? Well, may I see it? Hey, it's just costume jewelry. Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at that. Come here. Come here, come over here. Look at me. Mr. Warsaw, do you have a light? Yeah, right, right, right. Put it right there. You see that? That stone is gone. That jewel is gone. Yes, this thing can't be worth much. Well, I don't care. But I could use it, though. Maybe. I'm working on a collage right now where these just might fit in. How much are you willing to sell this for? I'm not selling. 
Come on, Leonard. I got a movie to make. Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, how's it going now? What? Your movie. How's that uh, movie going? Pretty good, I guess. Good. Except for some people. I've been thinking about your movie a lot, actually. And uh, I was wondering, uh, I'm going to have some free time tomorrow. Would you boys like to film inside the lighthouse? Inside? In yeah. Dracula's castle? Right inside. Wow! You like that? Yeah. Okay, one stipulation, though. Oh, anything. It's no dog. Oh, no. Wadzingles are everywhere I go. Leonard, no dog. Oh, that's okay. It's a deal, okay? Good, buddy, good, good. Sure, no problem. All right, good. See you boys tomorrow? Good. Okay. Sure. Good. Goodbye, thanks a lot. You're certainly welcome. Goodbye. Aren't you finished yet? Don't rush me now. It's got to be right. A necklace is a necklace. No kid's going to notice the difference when we switch them. Well, this kid might. Just leave it to me. I'll get it. No, what are you doing? I'm going to take the dynamite and the fireworks, and I'm going to lock them up here, where they'll be safe from your little guests. shot in a safer place. Hey, I know. How about trapped up on the walkway here? Hey, you guys! It's just perfect up here. It's a lot safer, too. Come on, everybody. Let's get set up. Don't forget the phony one. I got it. I got it. That was a nice necklace, too. My necklace! Hey, Leonard! Leonard, come back here! Leonard! Hey! We're up here shooting! Come back here! I see it! Leonard! Hey, Leonard! You can't go down there! Well, come on, Leonard, necklace. come on. Never gonna reach that. Look at it, will you? It's 150 feet down there. 
Let's take a break. We've been at it long enough. Isn't that right, Jean? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, ice cream sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get some ice cream. Come on. Come on, Alfie. Alfie, what flavor do you like? Strawberry. Strawberry. We have strawberry. Good. Right Walt Disney Presents will be right back. Tonight on Magical World of Disney. Come! We fly! For the Sanderson Gee. sisters, Halloween is no ordinary girls' night out. Bubble, bubble. And after 300 years in the grave, they're gonna have one busy night. You must brew the potion and suck the lies out of the children of Salem before sunrise. Otherwise, it's curtains. A real busy night. I have put a spell on you. Hocus Pocus, tonight at 9, 15, 8, 15 Central, part of Wicked Weekend. Are you boys a little old to be trick-or-treating? Three, two, one. The countdown to the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards continues. Today we're here at Disneyland in California asking kids and adults to tell us about their favorite teachers. I have two favorite teachers. Mr. Turner and Ms. Quetzal. Ms. Kemp and Ms. Watson. Because they <laughs> help us learn how to read. Because they're really nice. My favorite teacher is Yvonne Jackson from New York because she inspired me to become a teacher myself. Miss Lahu. Miss Adele. She's my first grade teacher. Because she helped me. Because. With stuff that I didn't know. She's nice. My favorite teacher is Mr. Clark. Mr. Galloway. Mr. Losey. Mr. Groot. Mrs. Knight. Miss De Groot made history come alive for us. Miss Copeland. Mrs. Magnus. Dr. Sharp. He made math. Miss Spelling. Hard. Homework. Funny and exciting. My biology teacher. Mrs. Jones. Miss Ryber. Lynn Scoresby. Miss Thomas. Helps to build children's self-esteem, which I think is really important. Do you think it's a good idea for us to honor teachers? Of course. Absolutely. I don't think they get honored near enough. They're the most important people in the world. We should let them know that. And without them, we would, none of us would be really anywhere. They're really helpful to us. Oh, teachers need all the credit they can get. And that's another look at the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards, which airs on November 15th. And be sure to join me next time when we once again go behind the scenes of the awards. Bye for now. We now return to Walt Disney Presents Inside Walt Disney.
there, son. Hold tight and don't move until I tell you. Now, grab hold of my foot. Come on. Pull up. Get that right there. Nurse mating you. Come on, I'm gonna take you home. Thank you very much, Mr. Wastel. You're welcome, Mrs. Booth. Young man, you don't realize how close you came to get. Uh, well, uh, he just doesn't realize. Leonard, you could have been killed. I wasn't. Yeah, I know you weren't, but you could have been. Mm. Now, just a minute, young man. Gee, where in the world were you? I was helping Alfie make his movie. Yes, but I have two sons. You're supposed to be taking care of them both. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, you two are confined to the house. Well, me? Why me? I didn't do anything. Well, that's just it. You're Leonard's older brother, and you should have been looking after him, too. One of these days, Leonard. Alfie. Sorry, Mom. Guess you're right. Gene, the tuna fish salad's in the refrigerator. Yes, ma'am. You dumbhead. Now, how am I going to finish my picture? I had to get my necklace. You and that stupid necklace. And you didn't even get it back. You want to bet? If you rub that necklace any harder, it's going to disintegrate. Something's wrong. There were five rubies in it before. Well, maybe one fell out when it hit the rocks. It's still pretty. It doesn't sound like before. Hey, are you just about finished with those invitations, Jean? Yeah, almost. Here, I'll read you the list. We got, let's see, your mom and my dad. Um, and I asked Keith and Noah. Oh, and Mr. Wazdell. Is that all? I mean, this is a big movie premiere. We got to have more people. What are you expecting? Big lights and a red carpet? Mom? Mom? Hi, honey. Sorry. Hey. Now, wait a minute. You're busy. No, come on back here. I'm not too busy to talk to you. What is it? It's my necklace. Something's wrong. It's not the same. Hmm. I mean, three stones are missing instead of two. No, it's more than that. I just know it's not my necklace. Looks like you got yourself a real mystery here. Yeah, that's what I think. Any suspects? Hmm? Well, if it's not your necklace, I'd want to know who has it. Did anybody show an interest in it? Everyone. Jean. Now, wait a minute. Number one rule, don't trust women. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, there's Alfie. Yeah. He wanted me to trade it for a ring. He's got shifty eyes, too. It's another point against him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got it. What about Noah? What about him? He said it was nice. And Keith, he wanted to use it for his painting. Well, you got it. Keith? No, no, that's too obvious. Now that you have the suspects, pick out the one least likely to have done it, and you got your crook. Really? Well, that's the way it works in my books. That is, unless there's a butler. Then the butler did it. We haven't got a butler. Don't have. Mm -hmm. 
We don't have a butler. Oh. Least likely? Thanks. Pick out the one least likely to have done it, and you've got your crook. It's still pretty. I have a painting, you know, a collage. Trey. It's still pretty. Sorry, kid. That was a nice necklace, too. Trade. Least likely. Least likely. after my necklace. Even you. You wanted me to trade it for that ring. That was days ago. What do I need a ring for now? You're in my dream, too. Come on, Larry. I'm busy. You did say it was pretty, didn't you? Yeah, I said it was pretty. That's what I thought. Of course, I'm not much of an expert. I like beads myself. Jewelry doesn't do that much for me. Mm. Hey, Leonard, don't run away. I'm going to be needing you to help me with the cookies for tonight's party. Leonard? Okay. Disney Presents will be right back. Ever run out of stuff to do on your vacation? Does boredom get you down? Well, on your next vacation, try these ideas from Milo and Otis to kick the blues. You can learn to fish, try a new water sport, or take an afternoon swim, take up gardening, or how about taking a swing at bird watching? For more of Milo and Otis's vacation tips, don't miss The Adventures of Milo and Otis. Monday at 7, 6 Central, followed by rent a -Kid on Magical World of Disney. Three, two, one. Dear Disney, have I got some teachers for you. The countdown to the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards continues. Right now, we're busy keeping up with all the letters, like this one from Douglas in California. I never knew science could, could be, be so silly. interesting. I knew it was important and that it was hard. Now I know it is something I will be involved with for the rest of my life. The Astro One team, Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Goldstein, and Mr. Lucia, get all the new sixth graders fresh out of elementary school. When we walk into the science sixth grade wing, it looks like a place you want to be. Instead of just reading and watching, we are doing things with Legos, gears, pulleys, and other interesting things. Science is alive here. This is definitely a class I will never forget. Taylor. Sincerely, Douglas A. McNabb, student. Bye. That's another look at the 1999 Disney's American Teacher Awards, which airs November 15th. And join me next time when we once again go behind the scenes of the award. Monday on Magical World of Disney. A couple wants to have kids, but not sure if they're cut out for parenthood. So they rent a kid. Well, actually, they rent three kids. We could stay together? Raising a family can be hard for first-time parents. Did you ever turn those stereo knobs back down? Our very first outing, and I've lost them. But when everyone pulls together, maybe parenting isn't so tough. Go be a family. Be a part of the family when you watch Rent-A-Kid. Monday at 825, 725 Central, right after the adventures of Milo and Otis on Magical World of Disney. We now return to Walt Disney Presents Inside Walt Disney. Rainer, I'm so glad you could come. I want to personally thank you for letting my boys film at the lighthouse. It meant a lot to them. Oh, it's our pleasure, Miss Booth. We enjoyed that. I suppose you know everybody here? Sure, sure. How are you? Hi. Alfie's master, please, who will begin shortly. 
See, you got your necklace back there, Leonard. That's great. Yeah, I'll have one of those, Leonard. Thank you. How'd you get it back? I got it. But it's not mine. Oh, yeah? Whose is it? I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. Well, if, if you want my opinion, Leonard, that's the same ordinary necklace you had before. Unfortunately, I finished that collage I was working on, so I won't be needing the necklace anymore. <laughs> Did dreams really mean anything? Huh? Well, I had a dream last night about you, and you took my necklace. I never wanted your necklace, kid. It was just a dream. I got that one. Yeah, put them up. There you go. Just put them right here the table. Yeah. Yeah. Those things will happen. Gene, turn off the lights and turn on the music. Okay. Leonard, where'd you get those teeth? <laughs> Healthy, it looks very good, very good indeed. <laughs> Terrific, Leonard, you're quite an actor. <laughs> Holy smokes, Leonard, that's really something. <laughs> That's real cute. Noah, he kind of looks like you. Oh, yeah, it's terrific. Just one. Oh. oh, there's that dog again. Alfie, that was a fine movie. You're going to be another Alfred Hitchcock. No, Orson Welles. Well, that, uh, we're going to take off. We will stay for coffee. Well, we have a couple of things to do. Yeah, yeah, we got to go. We're just Good night. Going Good night. Cut it close, don't you? Going to some kid's movie with a pickup here tonight. I wonder if that sheriff would have realized that was a hundred thousand dollar stolen necklace. That well, Hick sheriff wouldn't street. recognize a poster if it's right under his nose.
wish you could hurry him up. I'm getting a little jumpy. Stop worrying, will you? Don't you worry, Mrs. Booth. We'll find him. He can't be far. Look, I'll tell you what. You get your car, search the north area. I'll drive south. I'll meet you at the town square. Well, what about us? Well, stay here and start looking. And don't go far. I don't want to be looking for you. One lost youngster is enough, huh? We'll need a flashlight. It's in the kitchen drawer. Come on. <laughs> and know his name is circled. It's Dick Noah. He's at the lighthouse. Come on. And they find the kid tomorrow, by then we'll be long gone. Gone? And you don't think I'm gonna stick around and become a ward of the state? You take my advice and clear out of here while you can, Mr. Washington. Oh, Mexico anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Yes. Yes. Perhaps you're right about that. Oh, any sign of him? No. No, but don't worry, we'll find him. I'm gonna take the east side, you go out towards the highway. Okay. I think so. You're, you're <laughs> going to be mistaken on that. Well, his bike's by the pathway. Yeah. His bike? Well, he's down there. Well, we just got back here ourselves, see? Uh, he could be here, around here somewhere. We wouldn't even know it, you know. With Leonard, he could be into anything. Uh, can we go look inside? Inside? Uh, that's, that's a good idea. Come on, kids. Let's go. Come on. Come on in. Watson. It'll be all right. Here's a good hiding place. Nope. I was sure he'd be up here somewhere. What are these his? Yeah, well, they are. Oh, well, good. At least, uh, we know he has been here. Hey, are you okay? You leave us alone. My dad's a sheriff, and you guys are going. 
going to get it. Get out of here. Hey, stupid. What are you doing? Trying to lock the door. You can't. Why not? It's broken. Uh, go ahead and jump. Yeah, you just wait. You just wait till my yeah, dad finds out. Get out of here. Yeah, he'll get you. Fuck it. Hey, the lights, the foghorn. Good, that'll bring help. Try everything. I'm, something's got to make it work. I am. Watch your steps. I got it. I got it. All right, let me work. Huh? This must be the light switch. Oh, good. Then this has to be the foghorn. Jewel thief? 
Why, those dirty crooks. <laughs> That's Watson. Don't get in front of the gun. Wait, wait a minute. Hold it. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. What's the matter, Watson? What's wrong? Next summer. We haven't missed a summer yet. Leonard, get down here. Everyone gather around, Miss Booth. Everybody. I've got something here. What is it? I've got something for Leonard. What is it? One, two, three. <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> wow. All right. And that's official. You are now my special deputy sheriff. Leonard, wow. that is really neat. Couldn't have cracked the case without you. Thanks. But half of it belongs to Watson. <laughs> oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, my friends, let's go. Oh, Mom, can't we wait a little bit longer? Honey, that dog's been missing since we started packing last night. But you said we could take Watson with I us. I said if he wanted to come, we'd be glad to have him. But he's the town dog. You can't expect him to go just because we're leaving. But he's Watson. He's my partner. It's like... Sherlock Holmes is out watching. Oh, we'll take care of Watson. He'll be here when you get back. But, Mom, you can't there. leave without Watson. Well, if he were here, but he's not here. Bye-bye. If he wanted to come, he would have been Bye, here. Bye, Dean. Drive carefully. Drive carefully. 